this ride, feeling alive Nothing in sight, forever in flight Follow those lines, we'll make it this time Blurry street lights, work as a guide To memories that we're making tonight Oh yeah, we'll make it tonight Yeah the woods, he got the impression that he was hallucinating. He returned to the beach where he came from, sat for a while on the shore, and then saw a bright red light from the side of the hill. Slowly and majestically, the heavy object was rising up and now I clearly saw that it was a flying ship. It made a sound like a vacuum cleaner motor. It is in a crown of red light, and at an altitude of 400 to 500 meters, it slowed down and began to sway. I noticed that its large periscope antenna had been removed and that the landing legs had been removed as well. Then the disc tilted, the red light became brighter, and then began to pulsate blink strongly, turning into the purple light. After the mysterious evening he has had, Gosta Carlson returned home, and as soon as dawn broke, he again went into the forest to the same clearing. He found heavily crushed and burnt grass with imprints from the supports, and, too, more mugs from which the ship's crew drank, in the same clearing. There was still a fragrant yellowish liquid in them. He also found a gold ring and a transparent crystal rod engraved with symbols very similar to the Scandinavian runes. In subsequent years, he repeatedly showed these objects to other people, but did not allow anyone to examine them and never gave the objects away for any analysis. But the story of Gosta Carlson did not end there, it only be- Swear I won't forget this, why do I regret this? In my mind reckless, thoughts are feeling endless, sitting up on- Companies were based on the alien healing drink that Carlson found in the cups left by aliens. Allegedly, these drugs slowed down aging, and therefore all the aliens he saw looked very young. Gosta Carlson also stated that the aliens have allegedly solved all their life problems, and have turned their planet into paradise. 
In the 1990s, Gosta Carlson was in close contact with the ufologist Klaus Swan, and in 1995 his book entitled, The Meeting in the Glade, was published. Although Carlson and Swan became close friends and communicated a lot, the ufologist could not help but notice that there are many incomprehensible moments in Carlson's history as if the eyewitness had deliberately hidden something or distorted it. In 2003, Carlson died of a stroke and took all his secrets with him to his grave. Interestingly, his documents along with the artifacts have not yet been found.